Welcome to this tutorial where we are building a Blazor application that allows us to search for a specific component and if the component is found, it will get highlighted. So where do we start? We start here in the main layout component, here in this top row. I'm going to define a inline form. It will only consist of one input. Clause will be form control and here the, the width. The type will be text. And then, of course, we have to bind it to something. Here I'm choosing a fully implemented property for it. The naming of the backing field, I leave it as such and the property will be named search word. So why am I going with a fully implemented property? Just because whenever we change the value, I'm going to call status changed so that all the child components are getting notified. Why exactly we need this, I'm going to explain in a couple of seconds. And here I'm also going to set string empty as a default now here, bind search word, and the event will be on input. Otherwise, the element would have to lose focus so that the property is getting updated with the newest value. So now I've talked about the child components that they have to get updated. The child components are rendered here in, in this body and we are going to pass a cascading value of type main layout and the value will be this instance of the main layout uh, component because we want the child to be able to read this property. So I'm going to create here a base class for the components that have the search functionality. I am call it search component. With search component or search functionality, I mean they have the functionality to be searched for. So just that you're not getting confused, component base, here it is. Now, here in this search component clause, I'm going to create an array of type string, give it a name tags, because if a component wants to be searched for or a component wants to be found, he needs first to define tags. Now, I am going to expect main layout as a cascading parameter. That's the thing that we have set up with the cascading value thing in the main layout. So that here we can actually get the uh, uh, main layout as a cascading parameter. I'm going to call it main layout. And then last but not least, I'm going to create uh, is searched after property. This will be get only. So we're only going to define a getter. Now here I'm quickly going to make a check if the length of the word is greater than three, then actually we are making the check. Otherwise we are just returning false because then we type out one character and then the whole application is getting highlighted because it has been found in the text. So here we say, if any of the items in the text array to upper, I'm going to create two, I'm going to invoke two upper so that the spelling of the word doesn't make a difference between uppercase and lowercase contains, now here main layout comes into play, search word, here in search word, I'm going to make exactly the same with two upper. Then we are going to return this. So if any of the tags to upper contains the search word that we have passed in main layout, then it is found, the component is found. So we are setting is search after to true. Now all the components this 
functionality have to inherit from search component and in here in the initialized method we are going to initialize that tags array new string array now in this case that's the survey prompt so one tag will be survey and the other will just be a user with a general tag and now of course somewhere we have to style it now here using the ternary operator is searched after question mark if it's searched after i give it the class success otherwise white uh, success in bootstrap will just make the background uh, green and white will make it transparent now i'm going to copy this code because i'm going to use it in every component here clause and then here just pay, uh, copy and paste everything in of course now it doesn't know about this property because we first have to extend or inherit search component base inherit search component and then here in the initialize method I just copy and paste it also the initialization of the tax array Okay, great. Let's go to the fetch data component. Oh, here we all are, already have a, oh, it's the initialized async method. So we can paste that in here too. Now here we change it to weather and number. Of course, here we have to inherit search component too. Now just so that I don't forget it here I'm going to of course change the text to home and user now here in the search com search in the fetch data component again same thing put everything here in this diff and then here yeah it's a bit a tedious uh, process now with all the the switching between different files but I guess you you're getting the idea now the last component here is the counter component exact same thing again IntelliSense will say I don't know about this property inherit search component and then in here I just type it out override void on initial on initialized now in this case again we will initialize it with a tag number because yeah that's a counter component counter and one last tag increment so let's have a look Oh, I completely forgot to here in the index component because that's our starting page I'm going to call all the components otherwise we don't see them highlighted because they are on different pages and here fetch data okay so I start out typing number and here the counter component and the fetch data component are getting highlighted. I change it to counter. Yes, only the counter component and home at yeah, the index here. So thank you very much for your attention.